come back, proud Canadians, to before you had TV. No hockey night in Canada. There was no CBC. In 1812, Madison was mad. He was the president, you know. He thought he'd tell the British where they ought to go. He thought he'd invade Canada. He thought that he was tough. Instead, we went to Washington and burned down all his stuff. And the White House burned, 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 and we're the ones that did it. It burned, 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 and the Americans ran and cried. It burned, 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 and things were very historical. The Americans ran and cried like a bunch of little babies, wah, 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 in the War of 1812. Uh, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today I have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer that was sent to me by Steve. It's one of the last three beers I have from Steve. Uh, this is from Driftwood Brewing Company in BC. This is their Singularity Russian Imperial Stout. I don't know if the uh, camera will pick much up on this. It's kind of like a holographic silver stuff on a black backing. It is 11.2% alcohol. It is fucking waxed. Oh, good. It's actual wax, though. It doesn't feel like it's... Yeah, it is. It's actual wax, so I might actually be able to get into this. Um, a lot of these breweries, as many of you know, like to use uh, epoxy and stuff. You can't get into that shit. You just can't. Um... Do I have anything to actually cut this with? I didn't think of this. I do apologize. I got into my song, and I did not think about how I was going to get into this beer, because I forgot all about the fact that it was wax cap. I almost want to say we're not doing this beer and go on to something different, but I want to try the beer, too. Uh, come on, I need a knife or something. Something. You know, how the fuck do you have no knives in this house? Or around you? I have five bazillion knives in rotation in this place, and none of them are here with me. But then I am also the guy that never knows where his fucking wallet is, never knows where anything is. And I could blame it on the children, but they've been gone since Sunday, so it's not the children's fault. Okay, we gotta go get a knife. I'll be right back. case. Hope it didn't break. I hopes it didn't break. Okay, we're back. We didn't get a knife, but we got the bulldog. The bulldog knuckles. They should work, too. <sighs> okay, so... These are some self-defense shit, apparently. I don't know if they work very well in self-defense, but they actually don't uh, do a bad job at helping open a waxed uh, bottle cap. If only I still had the Benny Hill uh, theme song. I could overdub it on the video when I do it. It's like adhered to the glass. So after this review, I gotta put some laundry away. And then I have to shave my dog. Then I think it might be date night with my wife for the first time in, uh... Almost a year? Basically, we, we do date nights when the kids are gone to the grandparents, and that happens uh, in July. So, it's been a while. There we go, it's off! Oh, and they didn't uh, they didn't skimp, they used one of their actual uh, bottle caps. See, if I owned the brewery, I probably would have just put a blank bottle cap underneath all that. Okay, save that for my buddy the punter. So we have the Spigaloo Stout Glass out for this stout. 
How about we get this off? Because I have a feeling that's going to just fall right into my drink. Yeah. That would fall directly into my drink. There we go. Looks beautiful. Holy fuck does it look good. But I mean, you all know that I love my stouts and all that, and I think that most stouts look good. Nice little snap crackle pop in there, too. So the head is a mocha brown. The beer is black. Actually, the beer is, uh... Yeah, the beer's black. I thought it was mahogany brown, but it was the fucking red of my hat growing, like, glowing into it, um, head is two and a half fingers right now, would have been three at the beginning, it is slowly fading, smell, oh my god, even through all that head, I get a nice rich chocolate scent, okay, and if I use my nostril to blow some of the head away, I get a nice mocha smell, like coffee and chocolate just popping out of the bottle. Oh. Out of the bottle, you get like charred wood, coffee, chocolate, and alcohol. It actually does kind of burn my nostrils. I am uh, a little sad about that. Let's try this. Cheers! That is a very, very dangerous beer. It does have warmth in the throat, but there's no alcohol astringency on the flavor. It's all throat warming and stomach warming. Little astringent, uh, not, not alcohol astringent, but little effervescent astringent on the tip of the tongue. A little bit more uh, carbonation than you would expect. Other than those two drawbacks, burnt wood, sweet caramel, chocolate, both sweet milk chocolate and bitter dark uh, baker's chocolate, and a black coffee. This is exactly what you'd want in a Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, do I think it is the best example of a Russian Imperial Stout, just a standard one? No, I probably myself would give that to uh, Bolshevik Bastard from from Nickel Brook. I do think that they make the one of Ontario, one of Canada's best, just standard Russian Imperial Stouts. I do think this is is also one of the best, but I think this is a little behind it just because of the alcohol warmth. Stylistically, the alcohol warmth is normal in it, but uh, personally, I'd rather not have the alcohol warmth. I'd rather be completely. Uh, surprised by the alcohol, drink two bottles of this, stand up and fall and hit my face off the table. That's what I would rather have. Um, it is a great beer, though. Thank you very much, Steve, for sending this. This is a 2016 edition. I do not know how the editions change from year to year. Uh, I don't really truthfully even care. I just know that I really enjoy this version. That is very good. That is very good. I love the way the burnt wood, the coffee, the chocolate, I love how they all mix. A little tiny bit of a fruit ester in there, like a deep, deep raisin flavor. Um, um, Sultana raisins at that, if you want to get into it. The uh, burnt flavor actually mixes really nicely with the throat warming. Uh, this is a great beer. I can't say enough about it. It is a great beer. At a 10 on this beer, fuck, I would give this a, uh, a 9 out of 10. It is, uh, stout strut worthy. I don't, uh, want to strut right now. 
just because I don't want to, but we'll do a chair strut. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Stout strut, motherfuckers. Stout strut. Uh, thank you very much for sending this, Steve. Uh, like everything else, I will not be chugging this one because I do need something to drink while I'm down here uh, doing some more video content. You don't get to see me drinking while I do that video content because I'm not smart enough to turn on a, a webcam to record me while I play. But, uh, that's okay. Nobody really needs to see me anyway. Plus, I like to itch my balls and stuff a lot on cam uh, and so the camera not being on me is good. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.